All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Below. It's the newest Cappy Games game. The people that made, uh, I guess, Sword and Sorcery, Super Brothers EP, Sword and Sorcery. I don't know. I mostly listened to the music. I never finished the game because it was a, uh, it was a, uh, <laughs> it was hard. <laughs> it was ridiculously hard. Uh, sort of. I, I just couldn't figure out what I was doing, and I just gave up eventually. This is back before I actually bothered to beat games. I just got in a humble bundle, and I was like, well, I'm not entirely sure if I like the game because I can't figure it out, but I love the soundtrack. And then I actually never played their follow-up game, which was uh, Super Time Force Ultra, which it's been on my two-play list for since it came out, and I just have not had the chance. However... I guess I'm going to break that trend because Below is my kind of game. It's a it's an underground dungeon exploration roguelike kind of situation. And that is everything I generally am looking for in a in a I I miss roguelikes. I want more. We've had some really good ones lately. Namely Hades. And so I'm kind of hoping I can add more to the list. Now am I supposed to be doing anything here? Do I press buttons? No, it looks like there's a boat down there actually I think it's a boat yeah it is a cutscene okay I think Um, we're getting closer to it, yeah? Yeah, we're definitely getting closer to it. Alright, fine, I guess we'll just hang out here and I'll, I'll just drink my milk and, and watch the, the sweet clouds go by. This is some sweet clouds. Game developers are getting better at drawing clouds. Also, the soundtrack is done by Jim Guthrie, which I should probably mention is one of my favorite indie composers ever. It's like, uh, A Shell in the Pit, uh, Austin Wintry, Jim Guthrie, oh shoot, there's a couple other ones. Who's the guy that did the soundtrack for Live Jump? I don't remember, he's really good. There's a bunch of them. But Jim Guthrie is one of the ones that I like to turn on when I'm just chilling. I, I like to relax the indie game soundtracks. I don't know, there's just something really relaxing about them. Okay, wow, this is... <laughs> How long have we been going for? Like, three minutes on this. I mean, it's nice. It's nice to just sit back and listen to the music. <laughs> but I'm like... I feel weird not, not having any, like, means of control over this. Just... Just sit back and just let it go. Yeah, it is a... I think it's a boat. I'm 90% sure it is. I was expecting to see, like, an eldritch monster or, like, a giant whale swim by. Like, that would be pretty rad. Oh, there's a... There's a game like that coming out soonish. I think it was announced at E3 this past year, but it was, like, a monster... Like a, a monster-ish girl, and there were like eldritch slash like demonic horrors underwater. Yeah, I have no control over this thing. Oh, oh well. I was originally considering just uh, letting the intro roll and then just talking as soon as I actually had control over the game. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I don't. I'm glad I started talking on this one, even if it's just kind of random because... Whoo boat. Here we go. We're almost there. I think. Oh, no, there's definitely an island on the right. Or cliffs, or rocks, or something.
I thought this was just going to be a pure pixel art game. I guess I probably should have paid more attention to the uh, the preview media. I never pay attention to anything. Okay, now I can control. Okay, so I got a sprint. I've got a dodge. I got an attack. Oh, that's going to be weird. So this is my inventory. We have water. Okay, so I should worry about that. Okay, so I got a block. This is going to be interesting. Alright. So what do we got? We've got a fire. We've got rutabagas. Is this a cave? Oh! Maybe I don't want to go down there yet. Let's look around. This is interesting. Supposedly, this is a, uh... Oh, what, how would I describe it? This is a learn-as-you-go kind of game. It is a roguelike. And... Like, I think you have to figure out the crafting on your own. Oh, you can climb. Okay. You have to figure out the crafting on your own. You have to more or less figure out everything on your own. And... So we've got the cave under, but it actually looks like there's a fair bit that's not below. Let's... Let's check the uh, the coastline first. I've had this idea for a game for ages where you are alone, kind of in an isolated area at the top of a dungeon. And there's nowhere to go but down, generally. But you also have to, like, you know, keep your character fed. You have to, you, have to, you know, build a shelter because it gets rainy and cold up there. I'm not betting on my ability to jump that gap, so let's just leave that for later. Maybe we get a shortcut or something. And, like, the entire point of it is, like, you're repeatedly going down into the dungeon to grab supplies so you, you don't die up above while you're trying to figure out, like, how do I get out of here? Where do I go? I can't go anywhere else, so I guess the only way to go to go is down. Unfortunately, game design, time, development, the Someday. Someday I will, YouTube will dry up or Twitch will dry up and I'll just be able to make my own games. Or I'll just be Aaron Hansen Mark II and just fund my own dev studio. <laughs> I'm not betting on that one. So what do we got up here? Because there's like a road. I'm going to starve to just death just living up to my name, aren't I? Well, let's see if there's a shortcut I can pop. No, it actually looks like... Yeah, nothing. Maybe there's a log, maybe I build it up, or maybe that bridge... Or, yeah, that bridge just never gets fixed. I don't know. So we've got a tower here. Some kind of weird square. Question, can I cut the grass? So I can. Sweet. I wonder if that damage stays. It'd be amusing to, uh... To use this opportunity to... No, it doesn't look like there's anything. There's some rocks and a pattern around it, but it doesn't look like there's actually anything here. Alright. But it would be amusing to just cut all the grass around here and actually find out that <laughs> there's a good reason to do so. I remember doing that in a couple of games. Uh, Link's Awakening, specifically. Okay, so it looks like it's locked off for whatever reason, at least for now. So it looks like we might not have to worry about hunger, water, or cold, at least for the intro. This might be like Diablo 1, actually, looking at these things. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the further you go down, you almost, like, open up shortcuts eventually. To go deeper. Guiding light. Okay, so I guess I was supposed to go up here. Oh, so I've got... 
I've got like a lantern. Hold on. There's like blue lines here. Maybe follow the most lit one? Yeah, it looks like they all connect. So I'm not really sure if there's much of a reason to do this right now. Actually, yeah, it looks like I can see it light or no light. Alright, whatever. Let's just keep wandering around for a while. Uh, let's see. Not exactly in the same vein, but I'm I'm reminded of uh, Children of Morta, which is another, like, dungeon exploration uh, game. I think this is going to be a little bit more on the uh, I guess a less gamey side? It looks like they're going for more of, like, a Zelda Zelda slash, like, Maybe Soulsish? It's probably more Zelda than Soulsish, considering the perspective. Uh, but Zelda style. But I'm just, I don't know. I'm really looking forward to Children of Morta. Unfortunately, it's uh, it's been delayed until 2019, which I actually think is a totally fine thing, but I, I keep checking back to see, hey, is there is there any information on when this game's coming out? The answer is not, not soon. Makes me a bit sad, but at the same time, I, I really would prefer to see uh, games finished before I, you know, before they come out. I hate, I hate it when a good game comes out and, you know, it very easily could have been delayed for a week or two. I feel like I'm supposed to go in here. I want to go into that cave, but I feel like I'm supposed to go in here. So let's oblige. I I did. Okay. There we go. Oh. Oh, we like ran out of lantern charge or something by doing this. Interesting. I wonder how much of a roguelike this is. Like, when you die, do you start over again? When you die, do you go back to your base and just attempt the dungeon again and it remixes? Uh, when you die, everything is reset forever and that's just it? I don't know. I guess we'll find out as we go along. Because uh, it's weird. I love roguelikes, but... I hate roguelikes that I get invested in runs. Uh, Don't Starve is a great example of a game that I love playing it, I love the idea of it, but I hate losing because it kind of resets you. Oh, interesting. Oh, was I drinking? I might have been drinking. So what is this? Might as well check out this area first. We got goop. We've got a spear? I wonder if you can go fishing. Okay, yeah. Interesting. This is going to take some learning. Oh, I can go even further back. Okay. I was expecting something different, but you know what? This is fine. What is this? Well, we've got a treasure chest here. It has some medical supplies. Oh, that was, that was like a bridge thing. A lot of crafting components. Can I break these? Yeah, it doesn't look like it does me any good, though. So, how do I... I'd equipped a spear. Did 
doesn't look like I can equip more than that. There's nothing I can do with that. Sludge, blood moss, bandage, string, stick, shard, arrow. Okay. Oh, so I can stab from stab while blocking. That's nice. Oh, this game. Oh, oh, so we're back to the cave. Okay. Oh, so I would have originally walked in here and then not been able to do anything because we didn't have access to this. Gotcha. Now, the worst kind of roguelike for me is the kind that punishes you for dying, takes away your stuff, and more or less doesn't respawn any on the next run. Those are very rare. I don't think this game is going to be be that. Those, those are those are roguelikes that I do not like, and almost never play. And then there's Catacomb Kids, which is just pure pure masochism. I liked the idea of that game, but oh boy, playing that was brutal. All right, let's see what I if I can cook anything, if I can do anything here. Okay, so we don't have enough something. So what can I do? Blood moss, sludge, shard, string. Water, turnips. Empty bottle. Wait, can I get some more water while I'm here? So that... I'm drinking. Oh. Okay. So I did actually drink water from that pool. Interesting. Well, I guess it's time to descend. Just see what I can get. One. Yeah, so we've got to worry about more food. For sure. Because, yeah, it's interesting to play... Uh, a dungeon crawler roguelike with actual like food and whatnot. You know, I mentioned Don't Starve, but that's much more of a survival game with like light dungeon crawling here and there. Ark! Forum miscreants! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, so it looks like you can kind of just block and do whatever. Okay, so I can... So they seem to drop things. Oh, no, he didn't die, did he? Okay. He just fell off. I see... I see why they... No! My stuff! Keeps falling off. What is going on in here? It's dark. I'm not sure, actually, what this is. I'm gonna have to play this game when the, the sun is down. It is... I... It is very dark. They recommend playing it between the hours of 12 and 4 a.m. And I might do it a little bit earlier in the night than that. But it definitely does feel feel like that exact kind of game. Oh, so we have a map. Okay. There, nope. So yeah, this game is actually meant to be twin-sticked a little bit. Hence why the dodge and whatnot are all tied to similar buttons. Oh, it's a tripwire. That's why that's there. Okay. Okay, so we've got a potato. I wonder if some of these things regrow. I hope so. Because it would be pretty bad if we just straight up run out of food while exploring this dungeon. Oh. Oh, I can turn the lantern on. Oh. But it costs a resource, I think. 
Admittedly, the resources drop to by killing enemies, but it's something to keep in mind. Uh, before I get got by any of those guys, let's... Eat a filet? That'll have to do for now. Okay. Question, can I craft things here? Okay. So that crafted a bandage, I think? String, string, and... String crafts cloth. Oh, so it'll actually confirm. So that'll make a mega bandage. Okay, so I've got a torch, but I probably shouldn't use it. Let's put it away for the time being. Okay, that's pretty intuitive. I like it. So, three items make a thing. Makes sense. Still dark as hell in here. <laughs> okay. We've got one horror creature here. Put up your dukes. Poke it. Poke it right in the... I don't even know what I'm fighting. It's like eponymous darkness, and that's about all I can come up with. Well, let's hope this shield... holds out. No, 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 no! I'm gonna get real tired of that happening. Okay. Got the thing. Now we've got... it looks like some kind of darkened chamber thing to check out. There's also this. Oh. Oh, so you can light light sources and whatnot. Okay. I don't see any others. So let let's go inside. Let's let's see what's down here. So we get mushrooms and we get some water. And some random supplies. Looks like healing stuff and maybe a torch. Works for me. Alright. So, dead end lower room. Neat. Yeah, I wonder how hard this game is. Oh. No, there's just lights down there. Because, like, it it feels very easy to me so far. No, damn it, not again. Or whatever. Hopefully they respawn or something. It's a shame to be losing all my bits to that, but... Actually, yeah, because I've been through this room before. Okay, so they do respawn to some capacity. It looks like they don't drop too much. So what's that? I have no idea what that is, actually. Ooh. There's some things in here. Big pillars just kind of looming in the murk. I love, I love how, like, you explore the murk. And it actually kind of goes away perpetually. Bonsai! Oh, god. The lack of a stamina bar is going to be kind of nice, too. Okay. So it doesn't look like we lost anything there, and we've still got at least one more... One or two more creepy shadow bits. Ah, uh, it's so dark. I'm actually using Shell's reflection in my monitor to try and... Oh, no, she's moved. Uh, to try and actually see what the heck is going on here. <laughs> Alright, so we can light that, or put that in. Ooh, dungeon down? Looks like it. Well, time to go find out. What waits below? I'm just gonna keep repeating that. I'm just gonna, gonna keep saying the thing. Oh, so we got another one of these. Which... 
If I remember right, you can actually spend 25 of this on something. So what does that do? So this will create some kind of weapon potion, a red elixir. So three shards makes a, a spike. Spike doesn't seem like it has anything. Oh, whoops. I should have been paying more attention because I, I used it instead of crafted anything. Okay. So I actually sincerely have no idea what the blue, blue fire means. Did I set that as a checkpoint? Is that the roguelikiness that you go back to the fire every time you die? I, I don't know. This will, I I like the idea of, of the discovery that the mechanics aren't entirely clear. I feel like anybody that knows how to play this game is probably going to be like losing their, their shit at me being like, It's so obvious! It's, it does the this! And I'm like, huh? I'm gonna have to play this in a dark room. Because I can't see anything. I could, t I could always turn up the gamma and some other stuff. Okay, so it looks like there's a bad... bad nick horror monster. Ow! Well, you know what? Waste below? Death! We've started. Oh yeah, we are just back. Well, let's see if the shortcuts I opened are still there. Oh no, we're a different fellow this time. It looks like. Interesting. Now, it looks like all of my stuff is missing. Okay. Well, can we go in? Or do I have to repeat the whole process? No, the shortcut is still there. But I have no torch. But I have this chest here. Interesting. I wonder if I go back to the previous guy. I don't know. Well, this will be fun, but I don't think I want to play anymore. Not until I've, uh, I've started streaming and the sun's gone down because I really can't tell what's going on. Yeah, this is neat. This is going to be interesting. I'm, I'm really curious what you lose and how you lose it and where it all goes because it looks like shortcuts and stuff stay open. Huh. Okay, so those those three circles probably mean like no damage. So yeah, what is what is saving up the uh, the shadow drops get you, and what happens when you turn a, a fire blue? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find that out on the next episode of Below. I'm there. The reviews for this game seem kind of mixed, but it seems to be more performance issues. So I will warn you, if you do pick this up. You might have some trouble getting into the game. The developers are already uh, hard at work on getting a patch uh, to make the game fully playable for everybody. Uh, but I can't speak of when and how that's going to be fixed. Just that it is going to be fixed at some point, hopefully. Uh, I haven't seen any major problems. And apart from, obviously, the fact that I have no idea what I'm doing, it seems like this is going to be a pretty good game. I, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's out now, obviously. And I think it's like 20, 23 bucks. I think it's like a 25 buck game. Uh, don't know if that's worth it, but if you're looking for, like, interesting dungeon crawlers, this probably goes right up there. And good god, is that soundtrack good. I can't wait to listen to it some more. Anyway, so, I guess like what I was saying, uh, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, uh, I'm going to be playing a lot more of it tonight, on stream, and then obviously shooting for some kind of full series, because I'm assuming there's some kind of ending to this. We just gotta get there, and we gotta not walk over spike traps, which kill us instantly. <laughs> anyway, for now, see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.